single strand conformation polymorphism in sscp we use a sample that contains two types of dna dna with errors called mutant dna and dna without any error known as normal dna now we use a method called pcr to make copies of the dna sample pcr can amplify both normal and mutant dna sequences present in the sample now comes the twist we heat things up by raising the temperature this separates the dna strands in the next step we cool things down again by lowering the temperature when the temperature falls down the separated dna strands undergo folding notice the dna strands with errors twist and bend differently than other strands now we separate these folded dna molecules by gel electrophoresis remember normal dna strands move in the same way through the gel but the mutant dna strands move differently through the gel this difference in the bending patterns of these dna molecules confirms the presence of mutation in the original dna sscp is a simple and brilliant technique for detecting small mutations in the dna it is a famous technique used in disease diagnosis and genotyping sscp also helps in virus strain identification